It is sadly a life or death search. A two-year-old boy missing after a tornado in South Georgia. Members of the U.S. Civil Air Patrol, along with civilians, are looking for little Dietrez Green, hoping and praying he might still be alive in these woods. It's my honor to be out here helping these people. The missing boy was with other family members when the powerful tornado plowed through a wide swath in Doherty County, Georgia, on Sunday afternoon. Unfortunately, the family hadn't evacuated their house next to those woods. Dietrich's father is Kevian Green. I just hope they can find him, man. I've been crying, man, but I, I'm trying to cry in front of the camera, you know, but yeah. I understand you don't want to cry in front of the camera, but it's, but it's okay. It's, it's so sad, but you have a lot of people out there who are looking for him right now. They are working hard. I appreciate it. Too, and I hope, I hope you know how hard they're working. They oh, want yeah. to find your boy. Oh yeah. oh, yeah. I appreciate it, man. Multiple people have already been confirmed dead in this county. The damage is widespread and devastating. Mobile home parks among the most damaged. It looks like a nuclear bomb went off. The chairman of the Doherty County Commission shot this video shortly after the tornado came through. Okay, down here too. Yeah. In the road, I can feel it. That commission chairman is Christopher Kohilas. But when you hear a mother screaming for a child and she can't find her child, and when you see someone that has a nail that is shot into the bottom of their foot and you see that kind of mayhem, it, it's, I mean, it's a lot of pain, it's a lot of hurt, and our folks are really hurting right now. One of those hurting is Faye Shepard. Oops. I got you, I got you. You're, not, you're not going anywhere, Faye. <laughs> and see, this is the only way that you can get in the house is through the window. That window over there? That window right there. Faye's mobile home was virtually destroyed. She had evacuated, but was afraid her chihuahua, named Girlfriend, wasn't going to be allowed in the shelter, so the dog stayed in the house inside a small alcove that stayed intact. So when you picked her up after the tornado and saw her, what did you say to girlfriend? Uh, you're alive, thank God. <laughs> the warnings that the people received here were very specific. The bulletins declaring that a large and destructive tornado was on its way with the potential for catastrophic damage. And that is exactly what happened. Now, many like Faye don't know what to do next. She's not even sure if she has insurance to cover this. That's my home, and I don't, I really don't know yet what I'm gonna do. And then I look at my daughter's that's right across the street, and hers is even worse than mine. 